What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Digital Blackface. It's your boy, Poe. Uh, thank you all for being here with me again um, on this episode, this very, very special episode. I have with me, as usual, my boy, Baku. How's uh, it going? My minder and producer. He, he makes sure that I don't ruin these <laughs> podcasts with bad planning. Um, I, I wanna, I wanna, before we start, I want to thank him for reminding me uh, to do everything today. Nah, dude. <laughs> Honestly, you beat me to half of the punch here, so you were... That's all you, man. Okay. Uh, we have a returning special guest, Wendigoon. Uh, Wendigoon, would you mind saying hi to people? Hello, everyone. Uh, I enjoyed last time I was here, and was grateful that Poe uh, invited me back to talk with him and Baku. And a new guest I'm excited to talk to about a topic this time, rather than me just rambling about stuff I'm sure no one cares about. Uh, but thank you very much to Poe for having me on, and thank you all for listening. Okay. Uh, and for the very first time, a very special guest, Mr. Rusty Cage himself. What's up, everyone? It's, uh, it's good to be on this podcast. I, I love the name, and uh, it's, it's uh, good to put a voice to some of my Twitter mutuals. <laughs> thank you. To- Thank you very about, much. I, I'm just seeing like some of the topics that um, that we'll be talking about today, and I, I, I can't wait to yeah. to see some of these pictures. Um, so like the uh, the very funny thing, Rusty actually followed me. Uh, like I had seen his videos. I, I I was a big fan. He had actually followed me before I ever even knew he was on Twitter, and like I was surprised as hell. When I found out he did, and I immediately followed him back. Oh, yeah, man, okay. I, I love your Twitter. That is dedication, man. The kind Real of things shit. that Poe tweets terrifies me. <laughs> I was in line at Hardee's the other day, and like, just like I'm scrolling through Twitter normally, and every time I come across his, it's and phones in my pocket. Done. I can't can't look at that in public. <laughs> yeah, you really do have to be careful <laughs> opening up Twitter in public, just because. Uh, well, you, you post like a lot of like uh, uh, just gore videos, but without the actual gore part. Is that just so you don't get kicked well, off okay. Twitter? Before before we get into this, let me just explain <laughs> one before before we get into the actual topic of the episode. Let me just explain uh, some of the things I post. Okay, so a lot of the videos I post don't have the actual gore in them. That for uh-huh. several reasons. One, um. I'm I'm not trying to torture he's people. Not to get, uh, he's okay, not trying to but, torture people that much. Yeah, I'm not trying to keep them I'm up at night. I'm I'm trying to I'm what I'm trying to do is shock them, make them like look like if, if I show them if I show like just gore straight up, no one's gonna wanna watch it several times. No one's gonna be there's gonna be stunned and then just swipe away. I want them to be enthralled but horrified. Yeah, uh, I also like that you'll, you'll just put a little um, a caption on there saying, oh, the guy's fine, he lived, even I mean, though it's, it seems very clear that I never, the I never did not. That. <laughs> okay, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, a lot, of, a lot of, sometimes they, they do live, in fact. I'm scrolling That's through your Twitter right now, your most recent video's caption is, she died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, there went that one, Paul. <laughs> Okay, okay, le- okay. That one, yes, she did. She did die. But look, the thing is, the thing is, what I all le- the other ones. Okay, look, w- when I post, when I post, they lived. It's like, it's like you ever like re- read, read, uh, watch a movie, read a book, or play a game, and like, let's say there's a villain who meets a bad end. Like, s- sometimes you might feel bad for that villain, but let's say that villain. Someone just says, oh, that villain's a Nazi. You're like, oh, okay, well, I mean, like, I guess I understand why he's dead. I'm cool with it. It's like that. Jesus. You, so, you that, you, so you just add that caption, someone dies, like uh, this girl that uh, died in the crate challenge. Uh, oh, oh wait, okay. someone actually died from that. Yeah, someone actually died. But look, oh, long enough. Because they did it on concrete, like idiots. But look, the thing yeah. is, the thing is, like, when I put they lived, like, even though you don't believe it, you don't want to believe it, a, a, a lot of people are actually relieved by the idea they can hold on to that. That is true. Well, you posted one thing. video that, like, killed me because it was a girl getting sucked through one of those weaving machines. Like, her whole body went through a <laughs> space about as wide as a pop can, and you captured it like she left. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, 
plenty of people believed it, and they fought. They fought for that idea. They argued, "Oh, it's possible that she lived," because they wanted to believe it, or they yeah, just. I don't, I don't think. Or they wanted to be contrarian. Or they wanted to be contrarian. It's a social experiment, bro. <laughs> like, I'm either... Th- right now. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm going to scroll through your Twitter now. There's a dude in a factory who, like... Oh, I know this one. A 2,000-pound spike flew through his head, and your reply is, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find this video. <laughs> okay, look. We're, we're all digging through post Gordon. <laughs> look, look. And, like, a lot a lot of times, it's, like, I always cut it right before. So you know you know in your head, your your brain, like, the way you look at one of those, like, um, like, uh. I just said ma- to you on Twitter, rest like, cage. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Like, the way you look at those magic figures, like those magic figures in the books, and your brain just puts together the puzzle, like, you know, you you just imagine what happened exactly, but I don't always show it, because you already know what's going to happen. <laughs> just the, the oh, gumball man. meme of, we, we all know where this is going. <laughs> exactly. Is so going. I, I, don't, I, don't need to con- I don't need to conclude it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, we- I, just do, I want to put one more thing out. It's not just gore. I will, I will give you that. <laughs> There's also oh, there's, a, yeah. there's also fake traces of shitting on Kath. Look, no, ugh, we're not gonna talk about Kath. This is not a, a <laughs> podcast for Kath. Anyway, so okay. <laughs> the, today's podcast, we're talking. This is gonna be a true crime podcast, and I don't know how many of you know this case, but this guy, his name is Mark Redwin, and in 2012, his son, 13 year old Dylan Redwin came to visit him um he was divorced from his family his kids didn't like him his wife didn't like him and they pretty much made that clear but it was a court-ordered visit for him to see his father so basically let me give you a little uh mark redwin had a fetish that's the best way to describe this a kink um where he would dress up in women's clothing down to the underwear, wear a diaper, um, use said diaper, and then consume the contents of said diaper. Oh, Jesus. Rub it, I now God damn it. Why, rub I it on his face. Tell me what the case was until we got in here. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. None <laughs> of us. We're, we're all on uh, the dark for very yeah. good reason. He would, then, he would then rub it on his face, um, <laughs> take photos of it, take photos and video of it, and then keep said photos and video. This see, is entrapment. <laughs> this is entrapment. Okay, see, the, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, Mark Redwin, like, it, it, what, like he lived in, like, a little uh, a house deep in the woods, like, six miles away from the closest house. Okay? Like, if this was a horror movie, that would be where he, like, like it pretty much is a horror movie. This would be where the bad guy lived. Far away from anybody else. Now, he had the privacy to do this. You know, but the thing is, the year before in 2011, his older son, Corey Redwin, and his younger son, Dylan Redwin, found the evidence, the photos of this, and they didn't tell anyone. As you know, as good sons would do, I guess. Man, that had to be traumatic. <laughs> yeah, imagine. I, to, uh, yeah, imagine you're you'd see these pictures. There's no way that your brain could process this for. Oh. It'd have to be like a week later. And you're talking to your brother. Like, wh- what did we see? Is that a real thing? Did maybe uh, <laughs> maybe we were confused. It probably took them a year to like comprehend so, it. So right. like, Probably so like, the thing is, the, picture and they're like, all right. The thing is, like, <laughs> Dil- Dylan at this time was like twelve, and his brother was like sixteen, seventeen. So when they oh, saw this, 12. when they saw this, and they kept it to themselves for a whole year until the court ordered visit on Thanksgiving for Dylan to see his father. Now, again, like the from the text between uh, there, 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 you're gonna see this uh, on screen later on. But there's some text between Dylan and his mom about the visit that show that no one in the family liked their father. Like, Dylan didn't like his dad. His mom didn't like his dad. Like, um, there's, there's a tweet that says, not a tweet, a, te- a text that says, um, uh, I, I hope you don't make your dad wait uh, for, to pick you up. And he was like, he deserves to wait for making us wait. I'm not sure what the wait uh, Dylan is referring to, but there's clearly some like bitterness going on there. 
and his mom his mom just replies with like a lol or whatever so um he picks his son up and apparently at some point uh during the day they engage in some sort of altercation and dylan lets his father know that he knows what he does and in response mark redwin killed his 13 year old son Wow. Did, how did he, does it say how he killed him? Like, how he killed him specifically. I believe uh, he bludgeoned him because yeah. uh, th- there were wounds to his skull. Mm. Well, listen, like, you got to think. I mean, this, this kid, he's trying to shame his own dad. I mean, you, you said that uh, out in the middle of the <laughs> woods is like where a villain would live. But I, I think that's a, a decent thing for a guy who likes to, you know, wear diapers and eat his own defecation he's that, doing the world a favor by living out in the middle of the yeah world. that's kind of where i'd prefer him to be, <laughs> you don't want him to be next door. That motherfucker. like so yeah like it's a uh, it was basically a, a moment of ri- like the, the funny thing is on twitter on on reddit on 4chan people have described it as the the a case of kink shaming gone horribly wrong that's unfortunately accurate i mean all right i uh, just in in the defense of of the dad uh this like what kind of son kink shames his own father okay <laughs> maybe he deserved to get bludgeoned okay look see the thing is the thing is like do you, you know when when you're when you're a kid and your your siblings know certain things about you so you avoid pissing them off right right like, in this case, like, his dad did not know, of course, clearly, that his son knew. But, like, I feel like if you have those sort of secrets, you want to avoid, like, you know, getting into arguments with your family. And, like, it's just a thing, like, of course he didn't know his son knew that. Which is why he flew into a fit of rage. But, still, you know? Yeah, um, um, this, uh, it was probably like a, a really quick thing. Like maybe he had a plan in his head that if for some reason his secret ever got out, he would just have to kill whoever found out. And then so it's, it just happened to be his, his little, uh, his son, his, his mean little son who's trying to bully him. <laughs> look, like, look, look. He lets him in his house. Like, look, look, the, the funny thing is, he, he, did not, he did not keep his, he did not keep his secret. Like his sons literally stumbled across it. Like, here is how, like, um, they, uh, his, their dad had taken them on a road trip the year before, and they discovered those photos on the dad's computer and looked at them in a locked bathroom while their dad slept. And Dylan's bro- older brother saved the images on his phone. And it was, it was, that it is, was, that has got to be the most awkward conversation if your mom discovers your phone. It was that discovery, <laughs> it was that discovery that made Dylan basically. Stop thinking of his father as his father. It just ruined it. Like uh, Corey said, it ruined his brother's would, relationship and image of his father. Yeah, I would ruin a lot of things death. for me. I love a, a several Cage, amount of things. I love how Cage went from like, oh my gosh, this dad's a degenerate, needs to be out of the woods. To like, well, you know, maybe he did need to kill the kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta think about it. They went on their dad's computer. Uh, that's not a, a good thing for a son to do and then there isn't it illegal to uh you know download information without people's uh like it's illegal that they just took the the data off and and put it on their phone right so these kids are criminals these kids are also stuck for (laughs) fucking life so i think that's one of them enough (laughs) okay like if if i came across those images i don't think i'd be concerned about the law i think i'd be concerned like what (laughs) like look look the thing is like like, I understand my father is not a perfect individual. Like, of course he has his flaws like everyone else. But if, but I, despite that, I still respect him as a person, a man, and a father. However, like, <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Like, he's, like, he is a writer. He is an MD. He is a PhD. He, he owned his own clinic at one point. I think he still does, maybe. But if I, I, if I discovered those images... Despite everything he has done, despite raising me, despite bringing me to America when I was like four years old, despite paying for my private school when I when I went to visit him for a year, 
I would not be able to look at him as a man or a father. I'd be like, no. You're- yeah, you'd probably just not want to talk to him ever again, which I guess was the case here. I feel like if I was going to bring that up with my dad, it wouldn't be face to face. It would be through like an email correspondence. Well, okay. So isn't the reason he brought it up because he was going to have to go stay with his dad? No, 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 no. He was already with his dad. So who did he bring it up to originally? No, no. He and his brother discovered a year before on a road trip. Correct. Gotcha. So uh, when all this information came to light, when was that? It was a year later, like, um, wait, do you mean when, uh, he, ex- he told his dad when about it or when? It. Yeah, when he exposed it. Okay, so basically, he, uh, Dylan was at his dad's house for a court-ordered Thanksgiving visit. Okay. And they got into, like, an argument over the fact that Dylan didn't want to be there. And he straight up said, he probably said something like, um, yeah, because you're a weirdo who... Uh, dresses up in women's clothes and diapers and eats poop. <laughs> I mean, it's funny if they just if they just all eat shit, dude. Yeah, like when you go when you go to a Thanksgiving dinner, you want like a turkey and mashed potatoes, <laughs> and, like, cranberry or something. You don't want a diaper full of uh, excrement. Man, that had to be a conversation stopper. <laughs> it's like whatever you were arguing about before just does not matter now. <laughs> okay, so so basically, like, uh, yeah, his father lived outside a small town called La, Dura- La Durango, Colorado, like in the mountains. And basically, uh, Dylan went missing 2012. In fact, let's actually, let me actually play the first, uh, uh, you guys, can you, you can pull up this video. It's the first video on yeah, the, the search for Dylan Arnwan, right? Yeah. Uh, so okay. I'm going to be playing this dad killed his brother too. since for years. So, so what year is this okay. that they were on <clears throat> Dr. Phil? Uh, I believe, I believe that was in, ooh, I believe that was, what was that? 20, 2015 actually. So was it public yet? All like, the reason his son didn't want to be with him the the pictures and everything was that public information yet at the time i believe it was public but they had yet to discover dylan's skull they would not discover that until late in 2015 okay so at this point when they're on dr phil as far as we know somehow the infra- I, what the the other son i guess may have brought it to light like who exposed it who exposed their dad for having these pictures it was Corey, of course because he was the only one who knew at the time right so So what happens is dylan goes missing and then Corey brings all this to light like my dad had something to do with it because we found this yes okay like the, the timeline is like the timeline pretty much makes it clear that People like people like heavily suspected uh, Mark Redwin, like they because they searched the area around his house. They searched mountains. They searched lakes. Like uh, by 2012, by uh, what's it called? Like literally just a week after he was missing, uh, the 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 La Plata County Sheriff had already said they ruled out the fact that Dylan ran away. Okay, so they knew he was murdered at that point. Oh man, that's that's it, it, looking at the father. I mean, it's in retrospect, it's easy to wait. See no, this, but... pause, pause. No, it, this was 2013. This was 2013 when that Doctor Phil video came out. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was 2013. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It definitely. Uh, definitely looks like someone who's guilty and try. Like, what is he trying to save face <laughs> by going on Doctor Phil? <laughs> I don't understand why you'd ever agree to do that. Rusty, listening to you talk about this is the funniest thing ever. Because you went from like, like, oh yeah, this weirdo in the woods. To like, he should have killed his son. Now you're like, look at that despicable old man. <laughs> Listen, you see the way that that son was talking to him, say, not even calling him father, saying he hates him. Like, right. what would you do if you were a father? You'd probably want to... Uh, like shit and a, a diaper. Oh, oh sure, oh sure, oh sure. But also, <laughs> okay, hold on. Not yet. You lost me at that last part. <laughs> but like, if you are also the son, 
and you know this about your dad and heavily suspect your dad killed your brother, I probably wouldn't be that chummy with him either. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. You know what? I think you make a good point there. So I uh, probably wouldn't be calling him Pops. <laughs> father. <laughs> perhaps. Daddy-o. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I definitely sympathize with Corey here. Uh, that's got to be. <laughs> he has several complex emotions going on at once. Well, listen, there's still there's more to this story. I imagine that's going to come to light, and uh, it you know it might might make you flip your opinion. That's kind of you have to be objective <clears throat> in cases like this. You know. All right, all right, all right. I will I will lay off the throttle against the <laughs> diaper dad for now. Uh, I am excited though. I want to continue this story because now I'm invested. See, everyone listening, Poe told me literally nothing. He was like, "Oh, you'll see." <laughs> yeah, I, I I did I did say I did say you would also yeah everybody says he looks like 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 a rougher Ma Mark Hamill or not a rougher like Mark <laughs> Hamill with like less of a beard. God, stop! <laughs> like it's just like Mark Jeez. Hamill with like less of a beard. It's like really. Um. Okay. Look, the thing is, he he just starts talking in the Joker voice <laughs> on Doctor Phil. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Look. Like the, the thing about Mark Redwin is that like society doesn't understand. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I think like if I were to play the uh, interview with a, uh, because I think we, uh, I'm gonna have to do some editing right after the podcast to like, like, uh, um, like blur out some faces because we, we already got copyright stricken for for that last video. But um, <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Uh, so like, there's there's an interview where he just did a full eight minutes. Like, this is, like, right after his son is missing, by the way. Like, like maybe a week later. Like, he is just, like, full-on, blank-faced. Like, oh, yes, I, I have no idea what, what happened to my son. Like, I, like I, I, I dearly miss him. Um, I, I, I'll do everything in my power to find him. And he's just, like, giving... He's giving, like, complete honesty looking straight into the camera, not, like, stumbling over words. It's, like... He had already cold. like he had already put aside the murder of his son. He's like, yeah, that happened. We're in the present now. That's the past. That was last week. <laughs> Why y'all worried about this, this missing kid so much? I, I, mean... I don't know what y'all got uh, like worried about. Just don't look in my house, the closet specifically. Uh, those are not diapers. Those are uh, large napkins. Just so you know. So oh, I mean, I mean for real though. Like, so if he kills his son. Uh, he knows what happened to his kid. That's already out of his mind. The next huge fear for him is it's getting right, caught. I, I feel like somehow these photos are gonna gonna come out. You know, you know what that kind of reminds me of. Now that you put it that way, uh, the Chris Watts case. I'm unfamiliar with that. He's uh, not not to like sidetrack off this at all, but he was a guy who killed his wife and two daughters, uh, like in December. It was pretty recent. Um, because a girl on Instagram, I think it was, like, wanted to hook up with him. So he's like, okay, got to get rid of this family. Um, and, like, he, it, it was brutal, the nature of the killings. Like, he straight up put his daughters alive into, like, sealed drums and they suffocated to death. It was horrifying. What the fuck? Like, but what gave him away, see, he would have gotten away with it because, like, his family, well, maybe not gotten away with it long term. But the reason he got caught so fast is because his, um... It was a friend of his wife's that checked up on her. And whenever he comes to the house to figure out, uh, like the police call, they're like, hey, are you where your wife and uh, daughters are missing? He was like, uh, no, that's weird. And then every new, because for like three days, it was just uh, the theory was that she ran away with the girls. Um, but the reason they suspected him is because every news interview, he was like, yeah, I sure hope we find him. I'm sad. Like there was zero totally stoic and that kind of like what you mentioned rusty about this is very reminiscent of that oh man i hate to sidetrack again but did you see it's a classic video of uh uh they're they're searching for this girl and and the neighbor comes out to do an interview with um with like the news reporters and as he's doing the interview it's becoming more and more clear that he's the one that killed the missing girl oh uh the guy with the like big frizzy hair yeah, yeah. Yes, and they, yes, I have seen that, yep. <laughs> they, they, within 10 minutes, he pretty much goes from being like, oh, it's, it's a shame, she's missing, we're searching everywhere, and then it's like, it's pretty evident that he killed her, and I think he gets arrested right after, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, no, he did. And uh, the reason I know about him is because I watched that JCS guy on YouTube, Joey Can't Swim. He, like, analyzes... Um, this is a random channel plug, but he analyzes, uh, like, interrogation footage. And mm. he did one for that guy. Because the entire interview, it was like 48 minutes, he never moved. He, right. like, set perfectly arms at side, never. He probably had something wrong with him um, mentally, because he was very weird. But, yeah, the, he got outed because they just asked a random neighbor for an interview. <laughs> well, that's what you get. I mean, you know, <laughs> you get what's coming to you. You know what, like... The thing, the thing about you get like, what you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, the thing, like the thing about Mark Redman, like it, like, like, like I was, I was talking to my girl about, about this case last night, and like I showed her some video, and the thing I told her was like, like I'm not, like I'm, I don't want to, this is not to sound weird, but like, you know when someone does something horrible, but they get away with it for such a long time that you have to be like, either everybody else is stupid and incompetent. Or this guy is actually pretty smart. Yes, I know you're. I know the feeling you're talking about. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's if if really there's no no body, there's nothing to get him on. Like like the funny thing, they found his partial remains th like the next year, a few miles away from the house. Oh, okay. All right. And this was after searching for like they found like pieces of like uh, shoes and bones and stuff. Like, it wasn't until, it wasn't until, like, 2015, two years before he was arrested by police, that they actually found his skull. Were Dylan and Mark yeah. alone at, like, was it known that Dylan was living alone with his dad whenever he disappeared? Like, yes, there were texts, like, the, like, the day, this, okay, okay, he, so literally, he literally, no, went like he, he went missing the day after he arrived. He went missing the day okay, after he arrived. Okay. All right, gotcha. So it's not like uh, there was a plethora of suspects. Yeah, Mark said. Mark said, "Oh, I went into into town to run some errands for Thanksgiving, you know, and I came back and my son was gone." Yeah. You know, fourteen year old boys just running randomly into the woods with no sight, plan, or details <laughs> of where they're going happens to the best of them. To the best of them, like, like I'm just wondering, like I, I would. Like, I know the evidence was circumstantial, but I, come on. Uh, I, think, I think it's pretty open and shut in my opinion. Like, no, at first, because they, they, had, they had no body, they had no right, real right. motive, yeah. you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. When it was just a disappearance, that's totally different, you know? But <laughs> after they found, which I'm sure we'll get to in a second, but after yeah. they found the pieces, in yeah. Fact, here was, let's go to, episode, uh, to video two real quick. This is the one that Seven says, News starts remains with breaking news. Redwine, the remains of 13 year old Dylan Redwine have been found. Crew searching Middle Mountain near Viacito Lake, making that sad discovery. The teenager's been missing since last November. Seven News reporter Mark Stewart working this breaking news, and Mark, his remains found very close to his father's home. Mike, less than 10 miles away from his father's home. Take a look. This is the Facebook page set up by the volunteers yeah, this is, who had their own. This is, this is at, right after they the found front, him. Right the after they the found front, him. There is a message, the, the partial a remains. message about today's discovery. Discovery. This Sorry, high and now. rugged terrain yeah, up to 11,000 feet is where search like teams people volunteers have been search or searching for like the five day uh, search. a long for time weeks, this looking for the re for all of his parts basically the snow the bones and other items found were tested by the CBI scientists it was really that crazy belong to Dylan his parents were told late this afternoon of the positive match Dylan lived in yeah. Monument and was last seen alive on November 18th that, when he was that's his brother, his like 16, 17. Durango airport for a court-ordered Thanksgiving visit. His father says he ran errands the next day. When he returned, Dylan was gone. Later that day, he was reported missing. Yeah. Speaking to our news partner, like that's that's literally that's all he gave them. That's all he like. Oh yeah, I went out shopping. I came back. He was gone. Okay, I just finished it. Yeah. Yup. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> like, 
like <clears throat> is, is everyone done with the video yeah yeah okay so like that specifically the nonchalant attitude of the dad at least in his response feels very um casey anthony to me oh wait, wait, this was this was very casey anthony yeah, because both yeah. of them were just like, I, like I, I don't know. You know, kids they just walk into pools and woods randomly. It just, just happens. <laughs> I mean, like, like the, the the thing you can say about Casey Anthony, like in her case, it was like definitely an accident. You know, an accident she uh, tried to hide. Yeah, this yeah, guy. Casey, it's like she went out partying. Will, or something will, and her kid yeah, I will. Died. I will. I will say this about Casey Anthony. Um, I know it's circumstantial evidence, but the fact that uh, the day her daughter supposedly had an uh, so you you asked Asia didn't mean to talk over you. Pretty much what happened is um, she was like a party girl, and her daughter went missing, and then after about a month, uh, her Casey's mom, so the kid's grandma, called the police. And uh, the police were like, why haven't you been looking for your kid? And Casey was like, oh, I just uh, figured she'd turn up eventually. Keep in mind, the kid's like three. Right, um, right. So then, like, a whole investigation launches. Eventually, they find Casey, uh, the daughter's remains in the wood. Uh, or was it in the trunk of her car? They, no, that, that was it. They found her remains, and she was, like, masking tape around the mouth. Yeah. And a dog smelled traces in the trunk of her car. So what the story became in court is that she was being negligent and her daughter drowned, like walked into the pool mm. and she was afraid of the repercussions. So she tried to get rid of the body. My one, like, the big thing to me that counters that is the day that the court got um, a warrant to search her phone. The day that her daughter died, she had Googled um, child suffocation method, foolproof child suffocation method. Oh my God, uh, what? Yeah. What? Yeah, she also Googled uh, ways to uh, prevent child from breathing, and there was one more. Oh, child strangulation method. I, okay, I, okay. Oh my God. Wait, wait, pause, pause, pause. One second. She didn't have incognito mode on? I don't. I think incognito mode's more like uh, so your parents don't find it. I don't think it stops the FBI from uh, pulling your well, yeah. records. That, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. But like, <laughs> why? Why? Why would you search those things? I, I, I'm kind of curious. I want to type that in and see if like maybe there's a good article on how to strangle a child. Or unstrip. <laughs> maybe un. What resources was she looking the way for? Your mind works. <laughs> the conclusion she jumped. Like okay, no, no. You know what? Look, look. Let, let me give Casey Anthony the benefit. Like you look, where? <laughs> let, let me give Casey Anthony the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe she was trying to unstrangle her daughter. Right. <laughs> to unstrangle a three-year-old. And like, CPR is the word you're looking for. Like, like, like maybe, like you know, she strangling my daughter. Please help. She, she <laughs> look. She might have been panicking. She might have been panicking. You don't know. Like, she might have been panicking, and she couldn't think of the proper term. So she was like, okay, uh, she's not breathing. How do you un unbreathe a child? I mean, breathe in a child or unstrangle them. You know, it's these are possibilities. I mean, and this, uh, listen, this girl, she, the, the three-year-old is so disobedient. I mean, is this going out there and trying to swim in the pool <laughs> without asking permission, without having a parent around? You know what? I don't think the pool had much to do with it. Well, at this point. I, I don't, you know, come to think of it, I don't even think she had a pool. <laughs> I don't think she what? had a Why, why would, how, how did she search that and she, how is she still walking around? I know it's crazy that that she got innocent on all that. Like, look, so if look if like Mister if Mister like Mister Rogers could have that on his phone, and people wouldn't give him the benefit of the doubt. I I agree with you. No one should have that on their phone. I I'm still really curious what resources she was look like when whenever people type. <laughs> In these crazy. Oh wait, wait. Questions. First of all, not, not even that. Not even that. It's not. It's not hard to strangle a three-year-old. <laughs> right. Right. Why would you need to look it up? Yeah, she wanted okay. the best meth. She's, like, she's looking for efficiency. Casey Anthony had a history of doing this. Not the child murder. <laughs> but like, uh, 
the pathological oh. liar thing. Like when she was a kid, uh, and I just looked it up to make sure I was right. When because I get the the true crime cases mixed up in my head. When she was in high school, she had told her parents that like school was going well or whatever, and like. Uh, in actuality, she had dropped out of high school and was like partying every day with her friends to the point that she like made fake honor roll badges and stuff for okay. Her actually, parents to see. pause, pause on that. I have to give her props for that. Actually, yeah, I know it sounds. Uh, uh, yeah, impressive. sure, it's it's impressive, and it even worked past high school because she was like, oh, well, the reason I can't be at graduation is because there's a scheduling conflict with blah blah blah, and her parents just believed her. Uh, well, it was until like way later they figured out she never graduated high school. Okay, so her parents are also idiots then. Yeah, yes. they just yeah yeah they were like uh, horrifically negligent when it came to like their daughter's trust. And looking at the initial like it's really interesting case to look through because it took a while for everyone to get the gears turning that she definitely had something to do with her daughter's disappearance. Because for a month she was feigning like concern. And the parents were like, just like, oh, well, you know, she seems worried. <laughs> oh, you know, the funny thing is, I remember when Twitter heard that she was having another baby and uh, everybody, everybody was like, <laughs> like, legally, legally, I feel like there should be some sort, like, if they can hold Britney in conservatorship, they should be able to hold this woman's womb. This, the law should be able to, uh, the law should have her womb as a ward of the state. Yeah, it, it, it's. You know, all right, even if she's said not to be guilty, just being caught up in a case where you potentially could have murdered your child, you shouldn't well, be able to have another one. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to say, like, the, oh, oh, with, the hold, fact hold, that, with the fact that she had that on her Google, I'm not, there is no more could have. Hold on, she did hold that. On. Right. I forgot my favorite story of Casey Lyon. I just remembered this. No, one. Like, she, did, she did that more than OJ did that. Oh, wait, well, hold on. <laughs> They're pretty close. <laughs> it's it's pretty. My favorite OJ thing is that he still tells people he doesn't go to LA because he's afraid that uh, Nicole the... Simpson's killer will find him. Yeah, I remember that. And I, <laughs> and the funniest part about that is like I have to applaud him for that because he's just he's like you you never want to make OJ angry now, nah, like you know. No, he'll, he'll just, just kill someone. Man. Yeah, he's so, yeah. I, actually, I take it back. Uh, I am also concerned that he will run into the cult killer. Yeah, that's true. It's a it's a very real concern you, for a lot of people. You, <laughs> like you have like you have no idea. Like he'll be so angry once he runs into his ex wife's killer that he might. Who knows what he'll do? <laughs> he might just kill another random person. <laughs> There's no way to tell. He killed someone uh, before. But, but, let, let, let me say this. <laughs> let, <laughs> killed someone before what? Let, uh, let me say this before we move on. So back on Casey Anthony. Um, whenever like the initial days of the investigation were going down, the police obviously she was a lead person of interest. So they started questioning her about you know where she worked, different buildings. So they were like, okay, where where do you live and stuff? She's like, oh well, I own a few properties around town, and would just drive them to random houses. Be like, yeah, I, I lived there for a while. It has nothing to do with the case. And it culminated to when they were like, okay, where's your place of work? And she was like, oh, I work in an office at Universal Studios. So she takes them to Universal. They, The two cops walk into the office with her. And she's walking through the hallways like, hey, Jan, how you doing, Pam? How's the kids, Paula? And like walks through every hallway and then gets to the basement and puts her hands in her pocket and is like, I don't work here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Like, she just kept BSing, expecting it to like turn out in her favor somehow. Just, all right, this this was a a, a very poorly thought out lie of mine. <laughs> She's uh, like, I, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> like, I'm not like I have to applaud her, you know? Like, like that is the 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 ovaries on that woman, the rocks, yeah. rocks, <laughs> some, rocks. Some good conning. To, it, I mean, she really should have got out of that pickle when she got to the basement, <laughs> but to walk into a place and just just talking to other employees yeah, as though like, you know them. Like, just is like, what it is. like they, they did not, they didn't like, you know, like say, who, who are you? They like, like that is literally fake it till you make it. I mean, she didn't make it, but you know. Like, no, she she sure did because she got off the murder charge. Uh, so you know, apparently so this all was true for her. God, she faked it till she made it. It's amazing. 
<laughs> like she went her um her you know, interrogation was like that too because they keep asking they're like oh where was uh casey uh, or, or what kaylee kaylee was the daughter's name they're like where was kaylee on this day and she's like oh she was staying with her babysitter marina uh she's sick right now but like marina just didn't exist like she just kept making up people and going on these wild stories you know if if casey in a different world, Casey would have been like president. <laughs> right. she's, she's clearly a sociopath uh, of some sorts. Like, can you imagine this she woman absolutely killed her daughter so she could party more? That's the kind of person we're talking about. This woman, I mean, when you have a daughter, you're still in your your youth, and you got this kid that's just holding you back. Here comes Rusty again, defending the, <laughs> Rusty's, the murderous parents. No, look, look, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, look, like, in Casey Anthony's defense, like, she clearly had, like, a powerful future in front of her. Like, it's like here comes Paul to her defense. Like, no, no if that, <laughs> like, with, with, without that <laughs> baby like holding, without that baby holding her back, she could have, like, been, like, a, a CEO. She could have been, like, the world's greatest lawyer. Like, you know, yeah, like, she, she walked, she strut through those halls, CEO style, and had no <laughs> clue who she was talking about. What a girl boss. Like, no, no, literally. <laughs> she, she is a, she is a master girl boss because she is an expert gaslighter. <laughs> You know the worst part is I can't even fucking disagree with you here. Like no, th no. Th I want you to think about this. You've you've watched Better Call Saul. Gaslighting to just lie. <laughs> you've watched Better Call Saul, right? You've seen it at least. You know it. Yeah. She could outdo that man on his best day. <laughs> you put her. You put her through law school, and she could get. Oh my! She could. I don't, I don't work at Universal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she get, get that far in law school, and, and then right as she's uh, getting her degree, she's like, I don't actually go here. No, no, no. You know, like the, the TV show Suits, that would be her. Kind of do that. That would be her, the TV show Suits. She would just, like, walk into a court, be somebody's lawyer, and then just keep winning cases. And so, like, wait, is she actually a lawyer? No. Exactly. Look, that woman, if you... Ted Bundy could murder someone in front of a judge, and I feel like she could get Ted Bundy off. I like that you're just some like shit. standing Casey. Like, uh, well, I mean, listen, look at her. She's definitely a, a problematic wood. I mean, I would... Hey, problematic wood. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. No, problematic is correct. A wood? Look, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say she's a wood, but I'm like... Like, she's like a... Like, a, she would definitely be an experience. Oh my god. Like, right, right. Oh, you've had enough crazy on your dick. Can you please not? No, no, think about it. Imagine being in a relationship with that woman and not knowing oh, what bro. the actual simping like for Casey. No, I'm not, I'm not I'm not simping for oh, I'm just thinking. God. Like you would never know the reality of the he's, world. He's not simping for, he's just down bad. Like, think about it, think about it. If she could down in dubiously. Like if she Dubi could she could convince you of anything. No, she could convince you of anything, my guy. Po Poe's current fantasy is to be gaslit by a female child murderer. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Oh, well, to, to, quote, to quote Amy, Poe is the type who would, uh, you know, get kind of like lose himself for a second and accidentally flashbang a child. No, that's not what Amy said. <laughs> Amy said, Amy said that if I were ever flashbanged, um, I would lose myself and then come back to my consciousness strangling a child oh I, yeah that's even better i don't know what she means by that but you know it means you're fucking whack <laughs> well listen if, if we learned one thing so far it's that we probably shouldn't uh, shame people for their kinks you know what? Oh, yeah, after all this shit. <laughs> no, the and funny thing is rusty the, brings it back to the no no the funny thing is the, fu the funny thing is there is a tweet from someone i i can't i don't know where i put it but they basically said the reason this happened, if we lived in a world where kink shaming didn't happen, people were respectful of oh kinks, uh, he would never have been so angry that he would kill his son. This is the fault of our society. And I was like, you know what? You're crazy, but I like, I like, your, I like your opinions. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely crazy, like you. their opinion. <laughs> like, <I'm> like <laughs> No, this should have been bullied out of him at a, a young age. We need, we need bullying. We need more. Yeah. So we need more kink shaming. Although to be fair, 
To be fair, expressly, we need no, 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 yes. no. If he had been kink shamed heavily, he might have gained that as a kink. I. But the thing is, nice. but the thing is that would that would have saved his son. So either way, either either way, we're still right. Either way, we're. I think uh, I don't think it's all right wrong anymore. I think it's a what the fuck. <laughs> Look, this is this episode is about a diaper wearing, poop eating, cross dresser murdering his son. Like there is there is no wrong or right here. Well, okay, there is definitely a wrong. There is a, wrong. There is a very clear wrong. Yes. I mean, there I know it's no right. Son, that son for kink shaming his father. There comes Rusty again. <laughs> He's in the woods like a bad child, while the dad's trying to go out to the store to get preparations for Thanksgiving. This kid's just doing whatever the hell he wants. Going out in the woods, losing his head. I mean, and then blaming it on his dad. I don't know. Have you ever considered the possibility that uh, he went out into the woods and just bashed his head on a tree because of like, his like, head? wait, like you know, like, like, like you know, what those deers do like deers and like, like deers occasionally bash their head out for yeah, some they reason. Do. It's called, uh, yeah, it's a disease that happens around where I live. Um, wait, it's essentially the equivalent of kukri, uh, but it's in deer. I'm going. Can you, can't you catch that from deer by eating them? Yeah, by eating their brain. Uh, it's specifically a uh, pr prion or prion that exists in the brain of uh, those deer. So whenever you, it's basically mad it, cow. Brain of yours. Yeah, it's pretty much mad cow. Um, what is the name of? It? I think people around here just call it mad deer disease, but that's not the proper <laughs> name for it. Uh, but yeah, you can watch like a buck. Just walk up to a rock and then bash its head in. I saw a video of one do it, and then it quit at, while it had an eye hanging out, and then started licking up the brain matter. No, no. Oh the, the, the funny thing is, like, I remember, I remember a Reddit story that people thought was BS until someone actually explained it was a thing. But like, uh, a a grandson and their grandfather were out in the woods hunting deer, and they basically came across a deer who like got up on its hind legs and was doing that against a tree. And then the deer like stopped once the sun made a noise and just turned around and looked at them. And then they just like they dropped their guns and ran. And then apparently, like apparently, the grandfather never went hunting again, and the son never went back to visit the, his grandparents. And well, did did the Taliban end up collecting those guns? You know what? We have to ask them. It, you know, uh, it, it wasn't the Taliban. It wasn't the Taliban. It was ISIS K. Oh like, right, right. Like special, like special K, but instead of. Older white women, it's younger Middle Eastern men. I know. Uh, our, the disease is called chronic wasting disease, by the mm. way. Wait, isn't that, isn't that like a symptom of HIV? No, no. So not like wasting away. Uh, this is specific. Literally what the prion does is it starts to like burrow out large holes in the brain. Uh, which is what causes these behavior issues. And a lot of the time when the deer are doing that, they're literally trying to, like, beat it out of their head because it hurts so bad. Ah. Um, but, like, what what you're thinking of is, like, uh, people who have, like, late-stage um, uh, late stage AIDS from an HIV infection will begin to, um, like, so it starts with their immune system, but then it works its way to other systems of the body, and eventually they can't, uh, like, produce enough... It's not really immune system. It's essentially like white. Okay, like immune system is very complicated, but mostly your platelets and your blood count is very bad because your body can't produce enough blood. So you kind of just begin to slowly waste away in that sense. Um, two very different things. Oh my God! Someone says son found the poop suck. No. <laughs> I'm surprised Rusty didn't say that. <laughs> no, I, I I should have. Uh, Alright, do we need do we need to get back on the main case? We have yes, I think we do. Let's yeah, see. We, uh, what is we're learning a lot today. Okay. We're learning a whole lot. <laughs> okay, so actually, um this is this is just an interview. Like we don't actually need to watch it. It's it's basically just him being very psychopathic for like I, I do want I do want to watch it. Uh, are we hitting play now? I mean, yeah, you can you can play in the background, but I I have to remove it because you know okay, I can't okay, I, I can't afford another copyright strike on this one. Okay. Un understood. Um, so yeah, you can just watch it on the podcast chat, and I will also, I will put links to these videos so you guys can watch them on, uh, from, uh, on the description. So yeah, he, yeah, he was, he was found guilty of, uh, second degree murder, uh, in July of this year. And oh, okay. Yeah. Like, 
from 2012, then he got arrested in 2017, and then four years later, off, uh, finally convicted. Ooh, I forgot I kept some of the photos in here. This is... Oh, man. Um, I'm looking at the photo files you sent in the chat, and the first one's called Dylan's Body. <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh, no, no, there's not... Like, it's just, like, bones and stuff. I was... I was very... I, I was sleep-deprived in... I'm very um, afraid. I was sleep deprived on ADHD I'm medication. Open it and tell you how bad it is. It's not. It's Bro, there, there's it, so many. There's it, so many. It's not. It's not that bad. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you, this, this, this is from the this is from the same guy. I was like, no, nah, man, just don't research it. We'll talk about it on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think you have it uh, the right way this time, buddy. Okay, <laughs> like I didn't like I wanted your reaction to be like fully. Well, you just want wrong. Anyway. and like if if I if I let you research it, you would you would be knowledgeable and you would have processed it already. I need I needed you not to have it processed. Well, I'm very non-processed, so okay. He is very he's very thrown off. I will say these pictures are pretty tame. Okay, yeah, there's that's definitely a bludgeon my... skull. <laughs> I would say you you said that right when you found the bludgeon skull. Yeah. Apparently, like there was like a, a, a tooth mark in in the. That in thing the... is cracked, like yeah. man. <laughs> like um, like some people tried to argue that it was an like it was animals who took him apart, but some people also believe that uh he kind of bit his son's head in his rage. It's <laughs> what the fuck. Uh. Everyone does. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I mean, looking at the picture, you you do, see, and I'm sure this happens a lot to any remains out in the woods. But like, there's a picture of a shoe that looks pretty chewed up by some sort of animal. Yeah. Normally, what happens when bodies are disposed of in woods, because you know the woods are full of a lot of different scavenger type animals, is smaller animals which sort of work as a cleaning crew. Mm. And uh, this, normally, what you won't see though, and this is the reason it can still hold up in court, is they won't do things like break bones. Um, cause you know, the thing, the, the dead body wasn't resisting or fighting, so there was no struggle. So like, say even larger animals like a bear aren't just going to like, you know, break skulls and stuff like that. Right. Um, and normally what you'll see is like arms and head and legs separated, but that's not, that's not because that's how the body was left there. It's just how animals drag stuff off. Like the, like the very, like the thing is like those, um, the photos of Dylan, the very funny part, like. Uh, a lot of a lot of Reddit comments, Twitter comments, and 4chan comments. You you see how Dylan is like smirking. Yeah. It, like a lot of them are just like he's he's laughing at his dad from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like I mean, he he died. That sucks. But uh, he got the last laugh. Like I just sounds like 4chan. Like it personally, personally to me, personally, all I'm thinking of is the fact that you you killed your son to avoid this getting out, and like the opposite happened. Like yeah, like it's I mean it's it's obviously not worth it. Um, uh, like you know for obvious reasons. I mean yeah, killing killing your son is really worth it. You know that also. <laughs> That also says a lot just about, like, the dad's mental condition, because a father, you know, with, like, fatherly instincts, even if he did have this weird, like, fetish, would think in that moment, you know, weighing between embarrassment or the life of my child, the fact he was able to put away the life of his child to save face, um, says a lot about him. I wouldn't, I would probably say looking into his like pat previous life or his life growing up there was some abuse or issues because from what i've seen through oh, a lot yeah. of serial killers this is very common like this behavior is very common among people who have a warped sense of like um uh, empathy um like all i'm so, all i'm yeah. saying all i'm saying is like like personally i don't think i i wouldn't say like um he was ever like, I understand what you're, what you're trying to say, but, like, I don't think the type of person who, you know, uses diapers, eats them while dressing in women's clothes, and wearing said diapers, um, would be the type to have, like, a rational reaction to someone finding that. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I, I agree 100%, and what I'm saying is, not I'm not saying that, like, 
you know, he acted rationally to put his son down. What I mean more so is like that, and people are like, don't king shame. I will specifically say that that kind of fetish and that kind of behavior is probably I evidence of shaming. No, no, that, am, it's that, probably evidence of some form of trauma is what I'm saying. That is, look, I, I personally believe that, look, like, okay, for, okay, the diaper, okay, yeah, that's, that's one step. The diaper while cross-dressing, that's another step. The diaper while cross-dressing while eating said yeah. materials. Yeah, and also the, using the said diaper. There's four levels of horrible to this. Also taking photos of yourself. Why were you taking those photos of yourself? What were you, were you using those photos of yourself for your own enjoyment later on? That, there's maybe five levels of, of fucked up to this. He, had, he was going to send them to his mother to make, him, make her proud. She wanted a little girl to eat <laughs> shit, and instead they got Mark. <laughs> oh my god, his name is Mark. Yeah, is it? <laughs> yep. Mark uh, do you think uh, in the biblical story of uh, Isaac and Abraham, uh, Abraham oh, no. was going to sacrifice his son Isaac, uh, do you think that's because Isaac kink shamed abraham or was it really because god i mean look abraham first to... of all oh, no... listen, of listen, listen 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 <laughs> no... oh, oh, one of noah's sons kink shamed noah and god yeah, punished that's him right god punished him with dark skin so you know what that's it's because he looked upon his nakedness yes and he laughed about it so this, you know this what happens all the time in history and in the Bible. <laughs> we, start, we need a resident Bible man here. Uh, would you like to explain this one to you? <laughs> no, because... I, am, I am no, I would not. I would like to do the opposite of explain it. The no, like the, 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 screaming right now. Like, <laughs> like, oh um, that's this is almost. Oh, this is this is terrible. Because now, oh, no, no, it is terrible. No, no, I'm I, I'm just thinking about like. Like, like the fact that no, like the te- <sighs> in a few thousand years, people are going to look back at this case and have a completely different opinion about it. It's going to be written about in uh, religious s- scribes. Scribes. I'm saying a bunch of stuff. I don't know. What saying. <laughs> he's just, he's just gone now. He's, he's brain is oh. slowly decaying this whole time. No, I'm just like, th- you can't talk about this case like any rational like okay look um you could you could basically consider uh what what's her name casey anthony as like a very very mentally messed up woman just trying to lie her way oh, through life so big for casey listen anthony. listen listen you could you could can, you can describe her as a mentally confused woman lying her way through life how do you describe this story uh, a very... I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's definitely trauma in his past. A I mean, very, look, of course uh, there's trauma in his past. I don't know I'm what not, sort of trauma. That's my word for it. Uh, a very broken man um, who can't really <laughs> contemplate correct interaction um, took the life of his son in order to not be outed for... Um, the because like it went from like well maybe he's got some big issues to murdering his son it's like okay he's definitely got big issues you know, so from outing whatever kind of person he really was i think he wore the mask for so long around people um that the idea of it coming off was worth the life of his son um i'm, I'm gonna say one thing Wendigoon. um when you said i think he wore the mask for so long i immediately he- heard bane's voice in my head <laughs> um but okay no. <laughs> so I, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say something from podcast chat someone said <laughs> some, some, someone said someone said that imagine being an incel and discovering this guy had a wife and kids <laughs> oh my God, just end it. like 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 oh like like what like <laughs> Just like your whole thing is like I'm relatively normal. I just can't get with women. But Mister Mister Diaper Poopy Dress Man can can have a house. Can, can have a, a whole family. Can have a a hot wife. I, I mean, I mean, she wasn't like she's not like hot. Not hot wife. I mean, not I, kind of wife. I mean, like you know, like. She's she's like um the the photos we have of her she's like in her fifties but like I'm oh, betting please tell, me, please tell me you know what a hot wife is 
Oh, I know what a hot wife is. I hear that, and I just cringe every time I hear those words. But like, I can, I can, I can separate words from each other. You know, I can have one. Can, yeah. Anyway, the image out of I'm, head. I'm just saying, like, 30, 40 years ago, in her twenties, she was probably a smoke show. But she's like in her fifties in all the photos we see her, and she's not bad right. looking for a woman in her fifties. So she was definitely something. So like, imagine being, imagine being a guy who can. Who who barely can talk to women or barely or gets rejected by every woman he tries to talk to, and then you find out this guy had two kids and a wife. For yeah, he's doing a, a lot better than most people out there. It, do you know? Do they know if the uh, the wife knew about like his uh, his kink activities? Oh no, the wife did not know. Only the sons. Interesting. Yeah. How do you keep that a secret in a marriage? I mean. Very, terrible. very, yeah. I was gonna say that exactly. That <laughs> just like that. Well, she probably respects his privacy and doesn't go snooping around his computer like these little brat kids of his. <laughs> oh my god! It's like Casey Anthony and like <laughs> this. <laughs> Fucking this. Okay, look, all I'm saying is that like, imagine. I, I bet Corey. Wait, no. The thing is. Corey wasn't even the one who went snooping. It was Dylan who was just tr- using his dad's computer for whatever reason and then found it and showed it to his brother. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's... Uh... You're, you're right. You're right. The guy... The, the dad is in the wrong here. <laughs> yes. I, I the dad, my this opinion. Is how he's in the wrong. Yes. <laughs> the dad is in the wrong. Look, personally, I feel like the dad made the... Bi- like, why would you take photos of yourself in that position, like it, that is the most comp. You couldn't be more in a more compromising position if you were. Oh, off. Oh, oh, oh. Can, can I, I, went, I went looking and I found the pictures. <laughs> oh my! Oh, 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 you did it. All right. Well, hey, listen. If the floodgates open, I'm going for it. Oh, okay. oh. look, literally. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, Stop yeah, looking at so the. <laughs> You did oh. this yourself. We didn't tell you to look at that one. There are actually worse. I, I took the mildest ones and put. No, 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 no. I looked up the. Worst. Oh, you looked up the oh, worst geez. ones. So okay. I've been, I've been sitting here trying to find early life info if he has any history of abuse, and they're like, "Hey, uh, you want to see the pictures?" And oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, like see what. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I look, will kill those, those photos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those photos. Those photos are the most compromising like I, said, I, I have ever seen an individual. Like you could not be in a more compromised position. If you were to like, be a- fair, to be fair, there is a very, very, there's a very close example we've seen. It's not okay. It is who you're thinking about here. It's the poor sap who bought a eighty-seven dollar cameo for a catfish. Stop talking about her. <laughs> I ha- I was like wanted to slip it in. Oh, all right, all right. No, Baku, Baku introduced that to chat, and it cannot be put away now. Uh, okay. Like, what? Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, no. But look, we found someone who did this. Someone. Okay. okay look, there, there was this girl we, who was. Do we, do we need to talk well, hold on, hold on. Do we need to talk bad about people who aren't on the cast? Or <laughs> this is some. This is something that's been long over. Okay. It's it's a rabbit hole that <sighs> when you look down it, you will like. I don't know how you'll react, honestly. Let me give you the quick sum up of it. And if you want to keep looking, you can go look later for more. Um, so there was someone who was a part of the, I guess, the group, quote unquote, named Cat. She was pretty active, pretty, you know, pretty liked by people. Uh, slowly, things came more and more kind of suspicious, myself and to myself included. Eventually, it was added that she was a catfish. "Quote unquote," she tried to post another image saying, "This is the real me." Uh, you know, hey, I'm sorry. It was really horribly photoshopped, and I called her out on it. And we then learned a couple things. Uh, one of which being that some poor sap had bought an $87 birthday cameo from the guy who did uh, the voice for uh, 117. Uh, John Batman. Halo. John Halo. Yeah. Yep. I felt so bad for this poor fucking dude. Like, that is... You can't tell me that's not compromising, man. Like, we don't even know the name of this guy, because it's just like, at that point, he did not want to out himself there. And you know what? I don't blame him. He bought a, a cameo from the guy who does the voice of Master Chief for this catfish? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Kind yeah. Of confused there. For her birthday. $87. That's, that's pretty cheap. 
I mean, the fact that you spent it on a catfish at all. And the fact, yeah, you know, yeah. fool me once. Okay, but the fact that about a hundred or so people were like simping for this catfish. Oh, it was more than it was more than a hundred. Like, like oh, so, so when Casey Anthony does it, it's girl boss. But when this catfish does it, it's a crime. I okay, no, 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 no. See, now, see, here's the thing. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Okay, um, Casey Anthony pulled it off. Casey Anthony, she actually got away with it. Yeah, she, Casey Anthony was a master at it. She was she was the equivalent of like you know now you see me those magicians where like you're like is it is are they real wizards or what's going on here that's Casey Anthony this situation was like a street wizard on his first day all right fair enough uh, like, was, I, I will I will say Casey Anthony's feats were more impressive <laughs> I don't work at Universal <laughs> <laughs> like like I. I consider myself pretty good at talking myself into and out of situations, and I would like the second we even got to the door, like, okay, look, guys, I, I don't, I don't work here. I, I just like, you know, this is, there's no way this is gonna go well. Like, why would I dig myself deeper? I don't work here. Just take me to jail. Dang, Mark Hamill's not on cameo. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, man. What were you, you know, gonna get him to, him to say? say? Something. <laughs> Casey Anthony's also not on cameo. Unfortunate. Yeah. Man, if but I, will, Anthony Rocco, I would hire her for both. I will tell you who was on who was on a cameo, Rachel Dolezal. And people yeah, abuse yeah, yeah. that. People abuse that. Like people abuse I, I that. A few, that a few of those cameos. <sighs> like I, I can't Does even do Simpson have a cameo? He should. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um let me see. I think there is actually one oh, there is one more video where Dr. Phil yells at him. For um, because he All this right, man I'm this man this <laughs> man this man refused to take a, watch it. this man refused to take a polygraph. So Doctor Phil's like, I brought this guy for you. Why are you not thanking me and doing it to prove that you didn't kill your son? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to, hey, I'm gonna have to blur this video to you. I, I will also yeah. link this video because it's yeah, it, it, YouTube just detected it. So after the fact, I will have to uh, blur what we've shown out. But um, you guys can keep watching it and just give your reaction to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've watched it several times. It's very funny to me. He's got his... Phil's got his tie untied. <laughs> it's, you know it's hot, man. I know people yeah. criticize Dr. Phil over random stuff, but like, man, I love him. <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. He's funny as shit. Like, the, personally, him... Clear, clearly he murdered his son. Of course. Like, yeah, like, he looks like a guy who did exactly yeah, what he yeah, did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, are you guys sure you're not speaking? Like, you're not, you're not like, uh, using, like, a confirmation bias? Like, you know he did it. <laughs> But yeah, no, I can look at this guy's face. Like, okay, think just think about it. Like, objectively, dude goes to a uh, television show because he's like, I didn't kill my son. He's like, all right, take a lie detector. No. <laughs> look, I but, but confirmation bias. Like, I say people should be suspicious of Mark Hamill now. <laughs> you know, like, what, what is he hiding? Mark? Fuck it. Okay, like here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, you know, like you know, like when like someone gets uh, a pedophile gets like arrested, and you're like, yeah, how did nobody feel? He looks clearly like a pedophile. But like, are you saying that because you know he got arrested for being a pedophile? And oh, no, just... no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have correctly, like in my personal life, like people from town, people I went to school with, I have correctly identified six out of six predators. Oh no, my god. Shot. That is you know amazing. Why? Because they look like it. <laughs> <laughs> How do, what oh. do you mean six out of six? <laughs> There's been six. I've got, I've got a chart. There's been You've got a chart! Locally, who I've known, who I've told people, like, that guy's up to something. That wait, wait, to wait, 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 wait. Like, how big is your town? Not very big. It's 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 not very big at all. Oh uh, my god! Wild. 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 Yo, you you know what this reminds me of? Like, there's a 4chan post where like um some, I know what you're talking about. Like, I know like, you're talking about here. Someone mentions their town rapist, and and everybody's like, what? <laughs> and like it's like a small country in like 
in, in like Moldova. East it's Moldova. Moldova, yeah, like like you don't have a town rape. It's like, what the fuck? No shit. Like, <laughs> like bro, how are you? How do you have six pedophiles in a small town? That's, that is quite dense. Like you, you're like the mentalist, but for pedophiles. It's like no, it's like. Every single time, and these aren't just like like active pedophiles. Like a couple of them were, you know. Like, oh, are they, they passive? Out. Are they like? Do, do they just like lie there and no, wait I mean, for the kids I mean, to like, show they up? Got, like they lost their position because it came out they were talking to like kids or whatever. But I'm not saying just like you know child rapists. Although I have called two of those correct. Um, Jesus. Like there's this one guy. He, I, I mean, I don't really care to talk about him because you know they're in jail now. Well, the the two big ones are. One of them was this guy who went to my church for a while, and he was like, he just acted creepy. Like if there's an older guy who's like, no nah, man, I'll uh, I'll just hang out around here. It's always weird. And this guy would, um, he he got it was a big FBI investigation because he um, we suspected him when he started wanting to like be around the kids. Uh, like, oh, I'll just, I'll just like make sure the Sunday school's good to go. And it was weird because he was never that active of a member. Uh, and then me and my dad went to go talk because me and my dad are like, like we're both Sunday school teachers. We do stuff for the church a lot. So we went to go check up on him when we hadn't been in a while. And he was just weird, like weird to talk to and weird about his house. And it turns out the FBI did a sting and he had a bunch of CP on his computer. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. 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 And another one uh, who was at also at a different church, because I've been in a bunch of churches, who I also thought was weird, years later it came out that he had assaulted a child. So, yeah. Like, uh, what kind of assault oh, we're talking about here? Wait, no, uh, no. Like, attempted rape assault. Okay, no, no. I thought you were talking oh, about, like, man. kick the kid. I was like, you know, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> no, 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 like, undressing, like, yeah. Like, morbidly funny, not like I wanted to, you know. You can't right. do anything, yeah, like, I, I, see, I, I got you. No, like, this reminds me of something that I saw the other day on Twitter. There was an article on Vice of, like, me and my, me and my gang of LGBT, uh, oh. of, of LGBT fighters in prison, uh, fight off the neo-Nazis. And then, like, and it was, like, by a guy named John Minton. And then someone put, posted up, a. uh, uh a link of what John Minton did that got him in jail. Like, he was, like, the, the uh, uh, a pedophile no, stop, of... Stop, stop, stop right there. Not just John Minton. Take a guess what the rest of the gang was in for. I'll give you a wild fucking guess. If you guess pedophilia, you are correct, chat. <laughs> okay, so, like, okay, John Minton. Like, he was, like... Like, he was, like... Christian, but inverted. Like instead of old, like instead of older relative, instead of one older relative, it was several of oh. his younger relatives, like ten Jesus. years old and like nine years old, and cousins of each other, and like, and he was like making them do stuff to each other while also doing stuff to them and recording stuff. Like he was like the worst of the worst. And then he's 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 in this Vice article acting like he's a hero going up against, against Neo Nazis. I'm like. Like I'm like I want those neo Nazis to kick the shit out of all of you. Yeah, you're kind of rooting for them. Now. I'm not supposed to like them now, but you know, after that, <laughs> say, um, that reminds me that last week there was, or a couple weeks ago, there was this TikToker who got exposed for being a predator, not the redhead who deleted his account. This was like another guy, uh, and like <clears throat> I say, predator. It's predator in the sense that he was like. 19 talking to like a 15 year old so still definitely like a predator grooming thing but i'm not saying that he was like a child rapist um but so he got outed for grooming right his apology video was him reading off a sheet of paper and he couldn't pronounce the words oh my god like, like he like he was standing there reading it and he's like i apologize for my mis mi misconduct and also will be better in future like, <laughs> like jesus really wrote it right he can't read all that well oh my god no that that reminds me that reminds me there was another tiktoker who was like um he was like 19 and he was like oh yeah i just i just got my court date i'm like and like apparently someone d duetted him with his actual charges was for having carnal knowledge of two 13 year olds Oh, carnal knowledge. Wow. That that was the description, the, the actual charge. Hold on, what does that mean? I Hold mean, on. he knew them biblically, apparently. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Carnal knowledge. 
<laughs> that's, that's a making up way to put it. At this point. <laughs> That is one hell of a way to put it. No, yeah, that's a it. euphemism. Oh yeah, also yeah, oh. the, the gimmick account who was uh who was attacking um anything lolly related was dating an eleven year old. No what fucking fuck? shot. Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, it it was a big thing because like, um yeah, apparently this like anything tangentially lolly related. He went, oh, this is horribly wrong. But then it came out that yeah, he was like dating an eleven year old. Who he said he thought was seventeen, but he was still talking to them after it came out that um they were eleven. And also, here's the thing: here's oh, he said he thought they were seventeen, but they were basically online dating by watching by streaming Barbie movies on uh, Barbie movies on Discord. What the wow. fuck? What the That's fuck? So creepy. Yes. Like. I don't know any seven... Okay, first of all, I don't know how you think an 11-year-old girl looks 17, but I also don't know oh, how you where's think... The, where's that post that they put EDP on? It was like, 13, 13 <laughs> is the new 14. 14 is close to 15, so we can just round it up to 16. 16 is, 16 is almost 18, and we can just round that up to 18. Or, 16 is almost 17, we can just round that up to 18. I, I read that post, and I just sat there for a minute going, you know... Why do I feel like someone actually believes this? Like, no, no, the thing is, it's not even like, like, oh, maybe in some twisted, warped way, she looks somewhere close to, to 17. Even if that was possible, you're not going to tell me that you heard her voice and you, you go on Discord dates by watching Barbie movies and you think she is, she is anywhere close to 17. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you are fucking with me. Hey guys, I, I I hate to cut out uh, at this point, but oh, it's no problem, go, no so. problem, it's no problem. Okay. Th thank you, thank you for right. thank I you for being with us. Me on, it's yeah, no fun. problem. Rusty, it was uh, nice to talk to you. Um, Absolutely, yeah, it was good to meet enjoyed you. Enjoyed it. Good to meet you okay. too. Y'all enjoy the rest of the conversation, and I'm out. Yeah. In fact, you know what? I think we actually should uh, come to a close. Not for any like specific reason, but I haven't slept in 48 hours. So you just need a nap. <laughs> Poe just wants his nap. Yeah, and in fact, I almost, I almost missed the podcast because, like, I, like, I, like, I was in the bathroom just washing my face, and I sat down on the toilet seat and was just out for like an hour. So, yeah, Man. yeah. Is there any final words about uh, this case that you'd like to mention? Um. Well, it's obviously, it's obvious we should play him in a biopic. So. That's all I have to say. Mark Hamill. All right, you know? Fair enough. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Good Thank note you. to end on. Thank you for being here, Wendigoon. Thank you for being here, Baku. And good night, everyone else. I am going to sleep. Thank, Thank you, everyone, for listening. It's been a pleasure.